So before I dive my thoughts of, on this new version of Matthew West's song, Me On Your Mind, featuring Ann Wilson, let me just say this came across as a request from Christian Music Girl. Thanks, Christian Music Girl, for requesting this new version of Matthew West's song, along with new music from Alexander Pappas of Hillsong Young and Free and Laveton Warlick, who I will get to a little later. Also, thanks, Erica, for requesting Tyson James, who, again, I'll get to a little bit later. But let's start things off with Matthew West here. So, I already like this contemporary ballad when just Matthew West was singing it on the original version. But, I have to say, bringing Ann Wilson in to collaborate on this new version was definitely a good move here. Ann Wilson sings well on here, and Matthew West and Ann Wilson sound nice together. Still maintains the contemporary ballad styling here. And as for the lyrics here, love the lyrics here. Talks about Matthew and Ann talk, ask the question, who are they? That Jesus, the God of grace, paid the price with his life on the cross with them on his mind so they can come as they are to become his children that will eventually go to heaven where all sorrow is erased. Pretty amazing thought that this song gives. Which means that when Jesus died on the cross for everyone he saved, out of all the people that he's ever created and will create, it was me that he was thinking about on the cross. It was you he was thinking about on the cross. He thought of everybody individually. Such a marvelous thought right there. Up next, Alexander Pampas of Hillsong Young and Free's new single featuring Rowie Clemens, Million Ways. Alexander Pampas of Hillsong Young and Free's new single Goal featuring Rowley Clemens, Million Ways. Let's dive into it. So, pretty good pop and R&B collaboration here. Stylistically speaking. And as for lyrics here, pretty good lyrics here too. Alexander and Rowley talk about how God in His grace shows His inseparable, incomparable love all life long in fulfilling his promises to fight for them by forgiving their regretful past and never leaving them. Up next, Laveden Warwick's new EP. Let's be honest. Laveden Warwick's new EP. Let's be honest. Let's dive into to it. Thanks again, Christian Music Girl, for requesting this and all the other releases I review from you today. Erica, your request of Tyson James is coming up next. Let's talk about Laveden Warwick first. So, pretty good EP overall here. The only part that I would say wasn't quite as good was... I didn't necessarily care for how... KB sounded when he started off his verse on his feature was laid in, but overall I think KB got better as after a few seconds and ultimately sounded good on that feature. As KB always does sound good on anything he does. Pretty good EP from here from Laven Warwick. Again, um style Stylistically here, mostly um, country influence hip hop and trap bangers here. We do have one lighter song with Look Up to the Sky, which has a little bit more of a lo-fi hip hop feel with the R&B hook from Blessing Ofer. And the country influence shows up in a lot of the other songs, mainly in the hook. Vocally here, we have rapping in the verses and singing on a lot of the hooks as well. 
And as for the lyrics here, pretty good lyrics here. Laveson talks about how he has gone through a lot of hurt. And people never thought he would go far. But he went so well, relying on God to shine his love de loving, death-defeating power that has worked a long way in his favor from where he was. Up next, Tyson James' new album, Just the Messenger. <laughs> Alright, so before I dive my thoughts on Tyson James' new album... Just the Messenger. Let me just say how this review came to be. So initially, um, well, let me start off with how I first heard Tyson James song Division. So my friend Erica, and thanks Erica for texting me this song because it is a banger. Tyson song Division. And initially the plan was I was going to review it in my bonus video that I released this past Monday. But then I realized... That it's gonna be on his upcoming album, Just the Mess, then upcoming album, Just the Messenger, which came out a week ago. So I was like, hey, why don't I just review the whole album? So that's what I'm gonna do here in this video. So pretty good album here. Stylistically, definitely hip hop bangers for the most part here. A couple chill moments, but definitely mostly on the hard hitting and energetic side here. Stylistically, hip hop with elements of trap. Lo-fi, R&B, and pop. Vocally, Tyson raps, sing raps, and sings. Also, too, Tyson talks during some of the songs as well. With a certain degree of humor, might I add. I like how Tyson talks at certain points here. And also, there are news clips to help prove Tyson's points throughout the album. And also, there is a sermon clip that plays at the start and end of the vision. And as for the lyrics here, so... I don't necessarily agree with every last thing Tyson says on this album. But overall, I do like the lyrics here for the most part. And I love the heartbeat of this album. Tyson talks about living a costly, painful life. As a messenger of the Lord Jesus through whose blood he overcomes the hate he gets for trying to take souls with to heaven while passing through this crazy, evil, sinful world and telling them the gospel, even if it divides, to repent and be saved from the coming deadly self-inflicted judgment that Jesus is coming back to bring for kicking him out of our society. In favor of lies of baby killing, idolatry, sexual immorality, and corrupt governments and media that try to steal our freedoms. I love Tyson's heart of proclaiming the truth of the gospel here and trying urgently to get people saved, even if it offends others to share the truth with them. Up next, our last release for today, Ella Worship's debut EP, Study Wyatt. Ella Worship's debut EP, Study Wyatt. Let's dive into it. So, pretty good EP here. Stylistically, definitely a worship EP, as their band name suggests. Mostly on the ballad or softer worship side of things. But the closing track, He's Not Done, definitely takes an upbeat pop rock worship feel. Again, the whole EP is pretty good here. And as for the lyrics here, love the lyrics here. Ella Worship talks about how in the sorrowful night, how in the sorrowful dark night of doubt and waiting, we can put our ambitions to death. Trusting that Jesus' healing resurrection power is still faithfully holy over it all to hold us and guide us in the process of resurrecting the broken dreams into something better. 
that will lead to the lost being saved into the kingdom. <laughs> well, that's it for this week. Come back next week for five more releases. If you like when someone's video, please subscribe. We put out videos every Friday at 9 30 on Pacific Time. Also, if you have any thoughts on today's releases or what I may have said about them, let me know that in the comments below. Also, in the comments, you can let me know if there's any awesome release that came out today that you want to see in next week's video. And Christian Music Girl, I got your request from yesterday for William Kada's new album, Matthew 10, 16. Thanks for submitting that to me. But there's still more room for requests, everyone. So feel free to drop your request in the comments. Also, check out the playlist section for I Mean the Month Green. Playlists are available here on YouTube and also on Spotify. In this month's edition, the playlist includes songs from artists like... Austin French. Torin Wells, Danny Goki, Carly Pierce, and others. So go and check that out if you're interested. Well, go now. See you next week. Bye!